NIST has supported the development of a new way to increase the sensitivity and also the accuracy of the common swab test for COVID-19. Well, we're going to talk a lot more about UV on this show. You know, we've talked about UV and UV has been around for a long time. The use of UV has been around for a long time, but has really been stimulated by the COVID pandemic. Dr. Poster, I'd like to ask you, what is NIST's role in helping to protect the public health as it has related to the recent pandemic? Can you tell us about that? Yes, absolutely. NIST has been very engaged to help support uh, combating the pandemic, and we've had several major projects that have been underway over the last year and a half to help address the pandemic and through measurement science. And to name a few of those areas, of course, in the areas of biological measurements, we have a number of activities supporting testing capabilities. For example, NIST has supported the development of a new way to increase the sensitivity and also the accuracy of the common swab test for COVID-19. And that was a critical breakthrough for understanding and controlling the outbreak in a rapid test environment. The math-based approach really helped reduce the measurement errors in the test that could help you know, really improve the accuracy of that and the capabilities of the private sector on the front line and, and the public health system. And just another example of testing, I, this is one of my favorites, is the we synthesize fragments of the SARS-CoV-2 RNA biological piece that manufacturers can then use to help calibrate their instruments for the tests that involve the RNA. And that's a, a research grade test material and it's safe to handle and it's composed of the RNA fragments and it's um, really been beneficial for the industry and the testing capabilities. I agree. And what a great example, because here we have a emergency situation, a pandemic occurs that that nobody had predicted testing. Absolutely critical to managing the pandemic. But how do you test if you don't have the standards and NIST is able to set step in and say this is what the testing standards should be for effective testing to help protect the public health.